Hey, what's up, car tubers? Diego here. Welcome in for another sports cars detour. Hopefully, I could day, I could take your mind off a day, off your day for a little bit, a little tiny bit. Give you a little detour today. What I have for you is some of the top loaded cards that I had that were um, relics or ink. You know, like a, just a little sampling, different cards that I got. Uh, probably one of them, I think I bought most of these in auctions. Like uh, somebody had like a few cards at one time, just random little lots. And I, I happened to win them, whether they be on sports lots or they happen to be on eBay or stuff like that. Like sometimes there's one card that I might want from there that was in, inclusive into the um, whole packet. And then the other cards are bonuses for me. So let's get let's get to it. Like um, I'm just trying to explain why nobody's just Phillies or Ryan Sandberg or goalies. All right. So the first card I got is from 2022 Allen and Ginter, a product that I didn't really see much of. Um, I got this Jorge Palanco. By the way, I like these Beckett shields. I got, I need to buy some for myself. Here's Jorge Palanco. A nice little red napkin there. Actually, I might just put them down here. Then I have Brandon Nemo from the same product with his little blue relic. These relics are not numbered. I also have a... These are... I got two in one, one uh, holder. Here I have a Trey Turner from 2022 Allen and Ginter. What were those? I don't know. They're just a little different. And then I have a Anthony Rendon. I'm trying to decide how I want to stack them. For some manufactured relics, I have my birthday buddy. Adam Jones with his first home run coin. I think that's why I bought that lot. <laughs> Here I have a Alex Bregman with the number two number medallion, which I tend to like. I actually like, I am one of the few that really like manufactured relics. I, I know game pieces like this. Are pretty cool to have. Like, hey, yeah, that's a piece of a jersey. I'd rather have the jersey. And I don't know what that is. Like, it looks like a shirt, but I don't know if it's a shirt or not. Uh, here we got it, but I'll still collect the cards anyway. But I'm just saying, if I have my preference, the manufactured relics are fine with me. I also have this Joey Votto. For, I had, Joey Votto is one of my hashtag pots. Uh, Collectors, collections, like I uh, put them off to the side collections. I tend to put Joey Votto off to the side. I'll buy them if, if it's a good enough price. And then uh, he'll be off to the side with the other Joey Votto cards. Here I have a Phillips Rivers. Craftsman. And I can't even tell if that's a piece in there. It's just, <laughs> but it looks like it's cut out. I got some ink now. We'll start off with this Philly, random Philly, named Francisco Morales. I have not heard of him, but this is from 2022 top, so hopefully one day I will. Whether that be him being in a trade or something, or, <laughs> or he comes up to the big leagues. Uh, hopefully we'll hear from him. Uh, I don't know much about him. Here we have a Camilo Duval which that picture is really dark. You can't really see his face, but here's Camila Duvall, rated rookie with an autograph. We have a Luis Gill, same uh, Don Russ optic. Trying not to get that glare in there. For the Yankees, I got a few mosaic autographs. Uh, here we have a Kevin Smith for the Oakland A's. Shout out to Psyched on Baseball Cards. Luke Williams, formerly of the Phillies. I believe he's with the Dodgers now, but this is with him with the Marlins. 
and Jake Berker. Shout out to Zach and Porter. We got a Videl Bruja on an Obsidian, which I really like Obsidian cards. I don't know why. I just like them. I like just dig those Obsidian cards from Chronicles. Freddy Peralta from Top's Big League. A Braxton Buford, or not Buford, Braxton Fulford. First Bowman for the Colorado Rockies. And finally, I got this pretty sweet looking patch here of uh, a player for the Philadelphia Phillies. This card is numbered to 16. I think it's pretty cool, but um, Hans is not ready yet. <laughs> Hans Kraus, he's not ready for the majors yet, but uh, this is a, a little piece of, uh, of something there. Little pinstripe, pretty cool looking card. And then his autograph. Uh, what they call it? Rookie Patch Auto, yeah. So I got a Rookie Patch Auto of Hans Cross from Spectra. I, Spectra is pretty cool, sweet looking card. So yeah. And check it out. Number to 16. Ooh. So hopefully Hans Cross will make the major leagues and this card will be even better. <laughs> Value wise, like, but for me, let's get in go into the collection that has that little piece of Philadelphia stuff that, that'll make it even more worth it. All right, guys, so that's the video for my um autos and relics. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know any of your thoughts, and uh, until next time, well, thanks a lot for looking and listening, folks. I enjoyed being with you. So long, everybody.